Hey, let's talk about driving in the deep snow and steering control. Um, we've had about 10 inches here in North America. And it's no joke. It took me about 10 minutes to start up this car, clean it off, and I'm not trying to have an accident. So the car's warmed up. I'm taking my time. I'm being patient, you know, and we want to be aware of what's going on. So that's super important. So I'm just taking my time at about 16 miles an hour. So what I'm going to do is just uh, kind of go through the neighborhood a little bit, bit. Uh, we're on a little route with students, so I normally I'm going to turn hand over hand. Forget about trying to see the curb. You just want to turn hand over hand in and turn hand over hand out. I might even get stuck, but this is real life. Okay, the one thing I want to bring you is value in real life. So we're going to be driving through definitely a lot of deep snow out here. Very cold out here, 19 degrees. So I'm going to go ahead and make a turn here. I do some figure eights, and I normally take students in these type of turns, hand over hand in, hand over hand out. Um, you know, tell me how your driving instructor taught you to turn. Was it hand over hand in? Was it hand to hand? Was it let the wheel spin through your fingers? Leave that um, in the comments and I'll definitely shout you out. So the car is kind of drifting sideways. I'm at about 15 miles an hour, taking my time, staying steady. Because if you don't keep the car moving steady, you will simply sink in the snow. Um, so I'm just moving very smoothly. If the car drifts to the left a little bit, I'm just uh, kind of maintaining, lifting my foot. Look where you want to go. If you look straight ahead, the car will go straight ahead. If I look at this truck, I'm going to drift towards the truck. If I look at this blue car, I'm going to drift towards the blue car. So I'm just kind of maintaining speed, 16, 15, 14 miles an hour, just kind of looking and scanning. Uh, you know, cars are here, people warming them up. Also, let me know, um, do you take your windshield wipers off of the windshield or do you just leave them on there and it's whatever, you start your car up in the morning and you rip the plastic and rubber off of them. So I maintain the speed, the car is kind of slowing down really because the snow is just so deep. So I'm just maintaining speed, I'm coming down to the end, you do have to stop. So I'm going to go ahead and stop and have a light slowdown, have that complete stop. Here's my stop. And then I'm gonna go ahead and make a turn. Yeah, I'm a little bit stuck here. So I'm gonna turn hand over hand. I'm making a left turn. And I'm turning back hand over hand. You can see my traction control flashing here. It's no joke out here. So I'm just taking my time. I'm scanning, I'm looking, and we're gonna you know, continue on. You need to drive in conditions like this and learn how to deal in the snow because one day you're gonna be out here by yourself in the snow and you have to really make good decisions. Notice I have my jeans on, can they stop? No, I have, uh, do not have the right of way. They have the right of way, so I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna wait for them since I'm the last one here. The right of way can be given. And this is the teacher moment. moment. If you're not sure, then give the right of way. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a turn, hand over hand, you saw me look. Going in nice and smooth, nice and easy. And then I turn out hand over hand. So I'm just taking my time through these conditions. Uh, I did clean off the car. The windshield is nice and warm. But it's still cold out here. My hands are like freezing out here because it is crazy. Yeah, that's my man's right there. So I'm going to go ahead and slow down, take my time, make that turn hand over hand into the turn. And then I'm turning out hand over hand keep the car moving you don't want to try to spin out we're not trying to drift today that's that's another thing all together um, so I'm just taking my time maintaining speed I'm deliberately going to go down this block that does not have a lot of snow and show you how you're supposed to drive in this you want to come in nice and easy nice and smooth and I'm turning out hand over hand and notice I'm about 10 miles an hour again this is moderately deep snow I am not trying to get stuck in here for real so I'm just taking my time. I'm going to go ahead and turn in this driveway. Notice I use my blinker. And then I turn hand over hand into the turn. And I turn out hand over hand. Now you're going to see my back of the camera in action. Okay, I'm in reverse. But I'm looking over my shoulders. Don't rely on this camera. I'm not trying to hit someone's car or truck. I don't need that. So I'm turning. And then I turn hand over hand. And I'm accelerating. You can hear the car kind of struggling in the snow a little bit. Uh, but when the traction control comes on, it pulls power from the engine, so you're not just spinning your tires, right? So I'm taking my time, going up to the edge. I'm just scanning. I'm just looking. I'm going to have a complete stop. I look left. I look right. I look left. And then I turn hand over hand. Yes, the, the vehicle is starting to get stuck. And 
I can hear the motor pulling power away. So I'm just gonna keep the car moving at about 12 miles an hour. You just wanna keep the car moving or vehicle moving through the snow. You can see how bad it is. Uh, and then our state police did say, don't go out unless you have to. So I'm going out for you because I have to. And then I'm gonna be getting some coffee too. So I'm going up to the edge. I have a complete stop, but I can't see because that tree is blocking my view. Go up to the edge and I'm gonna move slow. If you just hit these tires too hard, you're just gonna spin and dig in and we're not trying to do that. So I'm going up to the edge. Here's a gap. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out slowly and this is real life, so this is what it's like. You do have a little bit of anxiety, but the car is pulling power away. So I hit the gas and then I'm out there, right? And that's real life. So I wanted you to see real life out here, right? Where I got stuck, a truck was coming, and that's how you know I'm real. Now, if this is bringing you value, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, right? So before we end, we're gonna go here and make this protect the left-hand turn, and we're gonna talk about this. This is behind the stop line. This is the thick white line. So this is the protected left-hand turn. I have an arrow, this means I stop, it's red. You still have to turn into the nearest lane. There's a snow plow truck out there doing their job. Um, it's a great opportunity to drive, only if you have experience. And you get experience by coming out here a little bit at a time and just taking your time, cleaning off your car, making sure there's gas in it. We have a little less than a half a tank. You know, I'm watching vehicles, I'm checking my mirrors. You can see me doing that right now. So you wanna have your mirrors properly adjusted just the way I'm looking. And then I'm waiting for the light to change in its cycle. Uh, the right lane has that turning arrow. And then I'm just sitting here waiting, being patient, taking my time. Intersections are the most dangerous place. If you know why, type it in the chat, type it in the comments and let me know why and I'll shout you out. So I'm going up to the middle, three quarters of the way up, and then I'm gonna stop because I don't wanna block, I'm gonna be able to see. Um, I'm gonna wait, okay they're clear then I'm gonna go ahead and make my turn you have to make a decision and I feel this is a pretty good decision that was a pretty good gap and then I turn in the nearest lane okay if this brought you value give it us a thumbs up if you like this content and you want me to do more of in-car stuff uh, point of view let me know thank you so much